Curtis, I have to be honest with you. Uh, they said to do a test session here for my house with the studio. They said, get a test dummy. I was like, perfect. I know the right dummy, and we can do a test with Curtis Brown. So thanks for doing this. Yeah, thanks for uh, using me once again for <laughs> to lift yourself up. Uh, that's pretty standard in our relationship. Not even a pandemic can keep us apart. Think about that for a second. A pandemic is not even separating us. I mean, maybe in distance right now. You're at home, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, absolutely. We're in the stay in place order here in Santa Clara County. So as are you, uh, the only place we can connect is as we are right now. So let's be honest, a uh, pretty life changing last, I don't know, a couple days or week. Um, when was the moment that all of this hit you? When was the moment you knew it was real? Well, I think um, it was last Wednesday. I was at the rink uh, doing what I typically do on Wednesdays, and that's go on the ice and run some cam camps and clinics. And um, when we got off uh, and kind of started watching, sorry, my studio is falling apart. When we started watching what was taking place, you know, after the NBA game and the Sharks were in Chicago. Obviously, you and I right. weren't doing that game. Um, it was there was a different tone, and I don't think anybody could uh, predict what would happen from that moment on. But then it it seems like it's been a, a whirlwind of events. Obviously, uh, from cautions to warnings, and uh, all the way up until uh, last night at midnight when the stay in place order took place right. for obviously our region and. If you look at the, the news around the world, um, obviously it's a very serious time. That That's tough. Um, everybody's uh, sacrificing something, obviously, uh, for the betterment of everybody's health. And yeah, it's, it's something we've never been a part of before. I should ask this right off the top, actually. Um, how are you doing? Yeah, well, our family feels great. Thanks for asking. And w right away, obviously, we took the warnings very serious and you know we we separated ourselves to the best that we could um you know when we were able to go out i only went out a couple times for for groceries and necessities and right away i think the key you know obviously the what everybody was saying was to social distance yourself and and isolate so we've been doing a pretty good job of that and and hopefully that can contribute to the long-term health of obviously our nation and our neighbors and everybody, because the, the interesting part about this is you can feel great right, and still be a carrier or pass it on. And I think that's probably the most serious aspect is you just don't want to be that person that would possibly infect somebody else. I, I, I just, that would be a, a terrible thing. And I know that people can't completely control everything, but we're trying to do uh, our part through this uh, process. You know, it's crazy, Brownie, is that you're trying to social distance from people right now, but for years they've been trying to social distance from you. You find the irony in that? Uh, full circle. It's gone for, full circle. <laughs> you know, it, it's... it's, uh, we're, it's try, we're, trying to make, we're trying to make timely jokes here. I hope everybody understands what we're doing. This is, this is the normal shtick, by the way. Go yeah, ahead. and you've, you've messed up uh, more than one time, so people will forgive you, especially <laughs> in a time like this. Uh, so this is nothing new for our audience. Right. You know, it, it, obviously, we want to be entertained. Um, as a society, we don't want to focus on things that we can't control, number one. And we don't want to focus on the negative. That's why sports um, entertainment becomes such a, a big part of what we do. And really, the crazy part, Brody, is <laughs> whether they've uh, liked it or not, you know, the audience has had you and I to, to either mock or laugh at or... Um, figure out what we were going to do next during, you know, before, during, and after a professional event, which was the sharks. And, you know, the tough thing is, is it's, this doesn't just affect, you know, one area of the country or, or one people group, this essentially affects everybody. And that's why it's so unique. So obviously even, uh, having to sit next to you, I would rather do that than go through any of this. Well, and on that note, I know that's a, that's a good chirp. That's pretty solid. Um, but taking it back to like the serious part of that, isn't it amazing how our priorities changed? And we're talking about stuff like uh, what's Martin Jones going to do to turn things around? How are the sharks going to retool themselves this summer? All of that was like, you know, relatively high on our conversation radar. 
it's amazing how fast it just kind of slid off the edge. And I'm I'm also saying too that sports are super important, like when they come back, and how people use them to try and feel a little bit of uh, normality. But at the same time, right now, I have a hard time even you know finding the relevance of of things I thought were important a week ago. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, <laughs> you 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 said it great. Obviously, when you don't have much concern in your life in the big picture as most of us don't you know all of a sudden when you go through something like this it, it definitely puts perspective back on the most important thing and and that's got to be your health and yeah obviously there's a situation where we're we're hoping and praying that it, it is very minimal in in the respect of you know uh, the severity of it and my hope is that you know nobody gets it nobody gets sick but the reality of it is is it has targeted you know those that are are older or with underlying health issues and you know talking to some different people it's amazing that it's taken a stay in place order hopefully for people to realize the severity of it yeah. in that you know it, it might not be an individual that's at risk but there are people that are out there uh, at at great risk if you hear the news around the world you know that's on the extreme case, but obviously those those are uh, the people that we're trying to protect. I was talking to uh, a couple of people, and they put it very uh, clearly to me. You know, eighty or a hundred years ago, a sacrifice was you know people going to fight for the freedom of this country, and now uh, all they're Staying doing at home. is asking us to stay at home and right. sit on the couch and you know go outside for some fresh air. So I think that. When you put it in that perspective as well, yeah. we can definitely all do our part to uh, make it as safe as possible. What that means, I think it's too early for any of us to know, but hopefully uh, by reacting the, the way that the government has and, um, you know, hopefully all citizens that uh, this will definitely help flatten out that curve and the severity of what otherwise could have been uh, a worse situation. I know you're not really on Twitter. I run your Twitter. Let's establish that. But uh, I tweeted yesterday that I'm going to start approaching this situation like we're down three nothing with what you know ten forty six to go in the third period of game seven. You know, like we're literally up against it right now, and we need we need kind of that that huge push. Um, all right, so one more hockey question, and then we're going to keep it light and conversational the rest of the way. And this one, it's a serious question, Brownie. But I also realize too. We're both going to just go on instinct here. Um, I've been saying and feeling all along like it's going to be an uphill battle to to resume hockey in any way, shape, or form, and to award a Stanley Cup this year. I'm just curious, like, what are your thoughts on the whole situation? Of obviously, it depends on what happens in real life, but does your gut tell you that they'll find a way? They can find a way, or does your gut say this is not realistic? You know, I, to be honest, um, I'll I'll take the the middle ground on this and, and say that it's kind of like the the situation uh, with this virus is that we don't know we don't know we we have some data of what's happened around the world, but right. does that directly relate to how things are going here? Will it be? Uh, will we get through this quicker or will it last longer? And there's just so many unknowns that I can't answer that. Now I'll tell you what I'd love to see is I'd love to see obviously. This virus uh, short circuited. Uh, you know, the weather turns better, and maybe that has a positive impact. A turning point. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, and then we can get back to all the the things that we love so dearly. Uh, you know, obviously after our health and our families, and uh, which would be sports in this nation. And I think, you know, over the last less than a week, it's amazing to see you know the impact that this virus has had, um, unprecedented for sure. Hey, do you think all this time at home is going to help you? lose weight or maybe or maybe you'll gain weight so i was i was waiting for the turn and i i guess i i did uh anticipate it rightly so you know what i'm i'm here at home and i i can work from home that's what we're obligated to do and so i got to continue to keep up with my day job which is you know the youth hockey and i want to continue to prepare so when we do come back online we're ready to go right now as far as your chirp yeah, like I'm going to get out in the yard and I got things to That's do. That's a real question. I know. And <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm, I'm also, you'd be proud to hear that I've continued with my workout regimen. In fact, uh, this afternoon I worked out as well here at the house. Why? Because 
they say something about uh, cameras adding weight. I wanted to make sure I did my part. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I just want to say this. I know what you would answer to that question about me. You'd think automatically that I'd be gaining the 15 pounds. You watch. When this is all over, I'll be 15 pounds lighter. Good. I, I'm rationing Good. food. I'm living a different lifestyle. I'm cleaning it up, Brownie. I'm cleaning it I'm, up. Well, I'm proud of you. And you know what? Sometimes, um, you know, you got to look at the positives. Obviously, we're going we're gonna to be at home and isolated for a while. So, you know, that's a good thing is, is pick some positives out of this that we can control and, and try to come out of it better on the other side, uh, especially in the areas that we can control. Because the biggest thing that we can't control right now is this stinking virus. So yep. we're just going to try to stay as healthy as we can. All right. So you're the first guy to go through this. You know, I'm trying to keep these to about 15 minutes. I think we're, I don't know, coming up on 11 here. So I want to get two more things in here for sure. Um, you're a guy that, that went through... Uh, September 11th, pretty pretty closely in terms of right. You were playing on, on in Buffalo back then, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. So I we, mean, it actually it happened during uh, training camp. So we were actually at the rink for the first day of training camp, right? And uh, yeah, that was quite an ordeal um, for sure. So my question is, and I don't know that by any means we've seen the beginning, middle, or end of coronavirus in the United States. I have no clue, and North America for that matter, but. Do you think there's even a way to start the comparisons for people who didn't live through that? Or, you know, there's other national tragedies, Great Depression, uh, wars that we've been through. I mean, it's it's weird to compare this already to something else, but it's starting to have that feeling at least of, of weirdness, if nothing else. Well, the other thing that's weird right now to go on a, on a not as serious topic is I'm, my studio here is falling apart. I'm trying to make sure that I can last the last couple of minutes. <laughs> um, I, I can't compare the two Brody because the one was actually, we were in upstate New York and just a couple weeks prior, um, my wife and I went to New York city and, and eerily enough, you know, we're down, uh, in the Southern part of Manhattan, uh, around the twin towers yeah. and, uh, you know, so to see what happened there was obviously devastating and, uh, and not good. The difference was, is, you know, things paused for a a brief moment in the sports world, um, but then came roaring back with the patriotism and everybody was united. And um, so I I definitely think that was different because in this case, uh, everything has come to a halt. Uh, If you look across, you know, whether it's the borders in Canada, I talked to friends and family and, you know, they're basically reacting to what's going on. Whoa. How about that guy? (laughs) basically reacting to what's going on here and and hopefully like my my message is is we don't know you know what we're doing if it what the impact's going to be but everybody's hoping that it's a positive outcome so if if canada reacts a little bit quicker and they have maybe that reduces some of the exposure that they have so i think the biggest difference is this is literally affecting the entire world yeah and that's not an overstatement um so i think that they're both very unique and they're, they're both terrible. Um, this one, uh, is, is something that uh, I've never experienced and yeah. I talk to people. I don't know that they have either. Well, you're right about the timeline too. Like September 11th, it, it came on so fast and in a way it was done. What had happened was done and, but there was fear of more, but that was different compared to this where the fear is how big is this even going to get? We don't even know the scale of this yet. All right. Last thing here. Uh, what's the hobby that you think you're going to exploit from all this time at home? What's the thing that you're either going to do more of or get really good at? Like, what are you doing? Yeah, no, that's a good question. Um, Thank obviously you. spending, spending time with family, um, you know, obviously just being home, uh, is very uh, abnormal for me. I'm a busybody, so yeah. I am at home, but I'm also everywhere at the same time just say beekeeping say, say beekeeping please well That's I, all a, I want you to I say bad news about that you know if if this uh, stay in place uh order stays long enough i will be in the yard trying to catch bees because as you know my bees have all departed over the winter months oh okay hopefully that would be a great sign of things changing is uh, i can get a few swarm of bees 
come across the property and I'll try to get those in the hive where they belong. All right, go ahead. End with the chirps, whatever stuff that you wanted to get out. I know you had some chirps planned, so go ahead. What, like what's behind you over there? No, when, yeah, when you said, Hey, let's uh, get together. First of all, this is great. And hopefully we can do it actually in a couple of days. I'll come back. I'll get some new material, but you caught me here sitting down and I thought this would be something that you'd be appreciative of is behind go ahead. Me, over my right shoulder here. This is, that's uh, the uh, Thunderbirds. Oh, yeah. They all signed a, a photo for me when I went up with those guys. And that was an incredible experience. I don't know if you've ever flown in a fighter jet, but if you ever get the chance, Brody, make sure you, you take them up on that. Just to fill everyone in, um, aviation's my other big thing in life. And Curtis is is pulling off right now what the kids call a flex. Do you even know that? Kids, <laughs> kids call it a flex? Of course you do. You got three boys. They They talk yeah. to you like that. So... I thought it would be appropriate and uh, make us both smile a little bit in this time. Yep. You know, to take a dig at you, anyways. I'll come up with some more material if we can get together in a couple more uh, days. And in the meantime, stay healthy. Yeah. Obviously. Uh, and uh, we'll give you an update uh, when I see you next. Brownie, best to you and your family. I, I know, like you said, we'll talk again in a couple of days. Uh, wash your hands and please, at some point, like shave also, please. Uh, you're breaking up. I couldn't hear the yeah, last Yeah, right. Part, no, you, you heard I'll that. Assume, you heard I'll that. I'll assume everything's fine on your end. <laughs> be, be safe. Be healthy.